Hey guys, we're taking a break from the SAT. We're going to do the Catholic High School Entrance Exam. Keep in mind there's a Catholic Entrance Exam for middle school and elementary too, but this is specifically for high school, although some middle school students may find it helpful. Let's start with word classification. That's one of the chapters of the language arts situation uh, and stuff you'll have to do. A lot of the other is synonyms and antonyms practice. We will have that coming forward. We also They also have logic practice and analogies, and we have analogies in here too. So let's begin. Which word does not belong with the other words? Come on guys, what's the answer? Angry, irate, fuming, depressed. Okay, you know what angry is? It's when your parents tell you you can't go somewhere. Irate's the same. Fuming, like a cigarette. It's fuming, so that means smoke's coming. That indicates you're angry. So the answer is D, depressed, because depressed means sad. Number two, which word does not belong with the other words? Symbol, figure, letter, number. Just think about a map. A symbol would be a tree. A figure would be like a person's head, and a letter would be like what you find when you have map classifications, um, A4, but all of those fit together. And remember, in earlier languages, and even in some of the current languages now, like Japanese and Chinese, uh, they write things in symbols and figures and letters, and their figures represent letters. So your answer to this one is D. Number three, which word does not belong with the other words? You can see easily that liter, gram, yard, uh, kilometer all have something to do with measurement. But which one doesn't have anything to do with measurement for people who who took science class, if you were using beakers, this answer would stick out at you. The answer is C, it is yard. The rest deal with meters and metrics and the system they use in the United Kingdom. Number four, which word does not belong with the other words? Iris, eardrum, anvil, cochlea, or some people say cochlea. So, Where's your iris, guys, in your eye? Where are the rest of these? Here you have eardrum. If this choice here for B was here and it just said drum, you would know that it meant eardrum. But here you have it for you. Anvil, it's a little part that holds everything together. D, cochlea, is a part of it. So your answer is A, iris. Five, which word does not belong with the other words? This looks confusing at first because all of these are on the front part of your face that you see, but that is the clue. Your ear is a part of your face. Your eye is a part of your face. Your mouth is a part of your face, so it is C. Face is actually the answer in here, even though it's words, just like in math, you want to do part to whole. So ear is part of your face, eye is part of your face, your face is the whole, it is your face, so that's out. And D, mouth is a part of your face, so C is the whole, whole unit meaning your face. And now let's switch over to analogies. Let's look at how we can analyze this. Calculator is to compute as scale is to balance heat, measure, or weigh. Let's look at choice A, a scale does balance. But remember, a calculator computes mathematical formulas. So you need a scale does something to your body or to mass or to uh, an animal or, or something. So you may have a scale measures heat for B choice B because there are kinetic scales, but not right now. Uh, a scale measures, but what does it measure? Let's go back to our choice. A calculator is to compute, meaning a calculator computes, so a scale does what? A scale weighs, so your answer is D. 
Let's take a look at the question in another way. Calculator is to compute, the scale is to, please look at your choices, A, balance, B, heavy, C, weight, and D, measure. Scale balances, we know that. Does a scale heavy? No, a scale is heavy. Does a scale weight? No, what's in front of you is a weight. Does a scale measure? So in this case, you have a measure. And the answer is scale measures because a calculator does something, but a scale doesn't really balance. A scale is what you put something on, so it will balance. I want you to take a look at this a little bit further, see what's going on, and make sure that you understand the difference between a weight and two way. Okay, guys, lizard is to snake as frog is to what? Uh, is a lizard a reptile or what's it considered? It is a reptile. A snake, of course, is a reptile. How about a frog? Is a frog an amphibian, meaning it can live in bo both land and water? It is. Is a chameleon an amphibian? And be careful because a lot of people think it is, but you have to go back to your science class and what it is characterized or what its taxonomy is. Crocodile is considered a reptile. Salamander, is it considered a reptile? Salamander is an amphibian. Tortoise is a reptile. So what's your answer now? Answer is C. Pay attention, and if you get confused on a question like this, try to use process of elimination and try to look at how things were classified in your science class.